Good morning, everybody. Today, we're looking at the channel lock 19.2 volt electric screwdriver and drill. According to the box, it features the EcoSmart one hour fast charger. Comes in a very attractive looking case. Let's see what's inside. Well, let's open up the case and see what happens. You can see it's a molded interior. It seems to hold all the accessories. We seem to have our drill unit, a battery, a charger, and of course some handy instructions. So far, so good. The first thing I did was plug in the charger and put the battery in the charger. See, it says the Eco Charger. According to the directions, uh, the first time it should take 75 minutes to charge. And the reason they call this the Eco Charger is it automatically shuts off as soon as the battery gets full to keep the battery from overheating and promote long battery life. It's been one hour, and now we're greeted with a green light indicating that the battery is fully charged. And I plug the battery in, and at the top of the unit is a battery charge indicator. If you can see, there's three LEDs. Let me just get, zoom in here. There's three LEDs and a little button down here. If we press the button, the red and the yellow are lit. And according to instructions, this means low battery. Uh, the green, the yellow, and the red, all three should be lit up to indicate full charge. So I'm going to put this battery back on the charger again. I think maybe there's just an anomaly due to the fact that it was uh, the first time it's ever been charged. Let's try it again. Okay, I charged the battery two times, and let's take a look here. Moment of truth, we press the button. Still only has the red and the yellow LED lit. We're going to get to the bottom of this. I just happen to have a 24 volt battery, and this is a 19 volt battery, so I'm, and looks like it's gonna fit in there. Let me just try that and see if we can diagnose this LED problem. Here's the 24 volt battery. It all seems to work. Let's just zoom on in here, moment of truth. Well, even if a 24 volt battery, the green LED doesn't come on, so I think we have a manufacturing defect to where the, the LED is bad because I'm pretty sure these batteries are both charged fully. So I, I think this is maybe just a workmanship issue. Let's take a look at the rest of the unit. It's got a trigger. We can have two different speeds. Uh, I don't know if you can see, there's a little picture of a screw. Then here's a picture of a drill. This is high speed and low speed. And I assume uh, correspondingly more torque. We can go forward or reverse. So uh, right now it's set for forward. Here's reverse, it has variable speed. And then it's got this light in the bottom that comes on there. It's a little LED light that should illuminate your, your work. On the back of the unit, we can see that it has a, a small screwdriver bit. Along the front, we see we have this wheel that, that spins. It says one, goes all the way up to 19, or even further to the drill position, which is all the way. So, uh, and if I have it on three, oh man, man, there's just no force at all. This is very easy to stop at three, hardly any torque at all. 11, doesn't have much more torque, a bit, bit of more torque. But on 17, not very much torque at all. Then 19, oops. I can, I can just barely, I held it, but it, just barely. That 19, it finally uh, did something there, but I'm still pretty disappointed. That doesn't really seem like a lot of uh, torque. Okay, here we are. I took the supplied screw bit, put it in there, have a screw, see what happens. Well, it really, really goes down there. Well, does that job, and of course I had it set at the, the 19 torque, so it, it really screwed it in that piece of wood. Here we are in low light conditions, so you can see how much light the LED has. Well, there you go. Okay, I'm now uh, put the switch in the drill position, got it set to drill torque. And I have a 3 8 inch drill bit here. And of course, this is the maximum size uh, that the chuck can take is 3 8 of an inch. So let's just see what happens. Oops. Oops. There it goes. Better I have it reverse. Well, 
Oh, that wasn't too bad. Here's a close-up of the bottom of the battery. The thing to note is it says 1100 amp hours, which is really not an impressive number. Well, that's about all I can say about our Drill Master Drill. Um, it's it's, it's uh, underwhelming. I was expecting a little bit more. Uh, the torque is not impressive, but it's good enough to do the job uh, for, for light duty work around the house. Uh, I guess it should be okay. I wish the battery was stronger. I wish it had more torque. I tell you, my uh, 24 volt unit that I have uh, is a, has a lot more torque. So uh, I don't know. I guess it's it's kind of a, a medium duty thing. I was really expecting a lot more with the, the brand name for Channel Lock because Channel Lock makes some really good high quality American tools, and this is kind of a, a poor quality uh, Chinese screwdriver.